Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Mike Cobra here with the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. At the Ontario Diagnostic Days, we're at the Herbicide Injury Stop, uh, where we like to showcase uh, a couple of different scenarios. We're going to look at two today. The first being the importance of knowing what herbicide you can use on your herbicide tolerant soybean variety because uh, if we choose wrong then it could be uh, ugly and then the other scenario that we kind of wanted to show the group today was the influence of environmental conditions shortly after application and depending on the herbicide and how it's taken up in the plant how it uh, shows injury either a little bit or a lot so there are a bunch of herbicide tolerant soybean varieties in the marketplace and they all have a kind of similar names extend extend flex enlist and so what we wanted to showcase here is you know what different varieties are actually tolerant to so we actually have three different soybean varieties and you can tell i'm standing in an area where clearly what we've sprayed here uh is is detrimental to that that crop it is not tolerant at all and what I'm standing in here is the extend soybean system. So only tolerant to Roundup and Dicamba, so the active ingredient in Ingenia. But here we've sprayed Liberty. And while the Enlist soybean variety and the Extend Flex soybean variety tolerate Liberty, certainly just plain old Extend uh, soybeans don't tolerate Liberty. And so here again, we have uh, incredible symptoms on one variety. Like you can clearly tell here, we got two things going on. Uh, at best, we have uh, thickening of stem, a little bit of twisting of stem, uh, but most of these plants are completely dead. Uh, but behind me, the beans look completely healthy. This is, again, the difference in herbicide tolerant traits. I'm standing in enlist soybeans. This got an application of dicamba through it. And the soybeans behind me, the extend flex soybeans, they can tolerate that dicamba. The E3 soybeans absolutely cannot. So we talked about the importance of communication, especially around herbicide tolerant varieties and the herbicides being applied. But now we're gonna shift gears to you know, what happens when environmental conditions are severe after herbicide application because it could take an otherwise safe herbicide and make it injurious depending on what happens immediately after application. So here's a good case study. This is a soil applied bleaching herbicide taken up primarily through the roots. Uh, after application, within this week after application, we saw basically no precipitation and we see almost no injury here. But if we contrast that to an application made a week later over here, um, we got about two inches of rainfall after application that moved the herbicide into the soil solution. It was taken up readily by roots. And now we see all sorts of bleaching injury, right? That whitening of the leaf, the yellowing. Eventually these leaves might turn a little bit brown. And so by contrast, you know, safe with no rainfall after application, pretty injurious with a good amount of rain after application. So as someone scouting this, I kind of look and say, well, are there positive signs? And so there are positive signs here. The new leaf growth actually looks quite green, quite healthy. There's none of that bleaching. So I anticipate that as time goes on, like certainly this isn't gonna remain, this is gonna turn magically back to green. It'll probably turn brownish, but the new growth will be green and then two to three weeks, we probably won't even ever have any evidence of this being around. So again, uh, you know, herbicides, a lot of things have to happen for them to work safely because the plant obviously has to metabolize them. And it makes a huge difference if there's different stresses or just environmental conditions that put more herbicide into the plant. This is a dose issue. This plant got more herbicide taken up than over there. And you can see the results of that here. And so that's the importance of paying attention to these details and, and evaluating if there's going to be any impact. Here, luckily, no impact or very little.